Hey, what's up? Uh, you were probably searching for a keyword finder or KW finder um, reviews or uh, tutorial information about it uh, just to get a decision on whether you're looking to buy it or not. My quick simple answer is yes, you should buy it. But what I'm going to do here in this quick review is walk you through exactly what it's capable of, what it, uh, what, what it can do for you and why specifically that I like it. So I'll kind of walk through what it does. Then I'll take you behind the scenes and share with you exactly, um, how it works by, uh, by literally, um, going into the back end and, uh, and sharing some, uh, some details. So really the, the, the most people are looking for, for this, uh, this tool so that they can find either um, easy to rank for uh, keywords or keywords that their competitors are using or they're simply at a loss for what keywords they should be uh, targeting for uh, when, when trying to promote their product, service, or, uh, or what have you. So really what, one of the cool things about this um, is that uh, first, first and foremost, it allows you to do a domain search of your competitors. So if you know exactly who you're trying to uh, to be similar to, what what competitor, um, you can literally just type in their their domain name, and you'll be able to find uh, exactly what they're ranking for, and what kind of search volume there is, and approximate visits they get. And that way, you can kind of create a uh, you know a, a keyword strategy based on that. Um, another thing that is very cool is the ability to kind of figure out what trends or search volumes they uh, that keyword has. So it's great if uh, you know if you're looking to promote a keyword um, and it's got a lot of traffic last year and the year before, but if it's dead now or it's trending downward, it may not be a keyword that you want to target. Just the same. You may want to target a keyword that doesn't have a lot of current volume, but has been trending upward, and uh, and therefore the you know the likelihood of more search volume in the, in the future is 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 there. It may be worth tracking, um, and we'll go into that in a second. Another very useful tool that I found is a lot of keyword tools that I've paid for and used out there uh, in the past have been very focused on global keywords. So this gives you the ability to kind of lock into a local keyword search, um, whether it be US based or even city based, which I think is really, really cool. There's over 50,000 different locations that it allows you to search from. Um, and I think that's really, really valuable because you know people's results in New York and California will be different. Um, just the same, somebody in the US and somebody in China will have different results. So being able to kind of check that as a global and or a local um, keyword search and, and search engine uh, results page or SERP analysis is very valuable to me. Um, so what do they say is under the hood? 2.5 billion related keywords, uh, 100 million competitor keywords, 52,000 uh, supported locations. So really what they do, and, and, and let's get back into it, what, what are the capabilities? Um, you know, you can find hidden lo long tail keywords, you can find your competitors keywords. Uh, there is a Google su suggest keyword source um, tool or capability. You can organize your keywords and keyword lists. You can filter keywords that aren't profitable, um, import keywords in bulk, which is great. Um, I do like that local keyword research because I, uh, I do a lot of, uh, lot of local stuff for my clients. Um, it's one of the most accurate keyword difficulty tools out there so that you can figure out whether or not it's worth trying to rank for a keyword. Um, it does share search volume and keyword metrics um, as well as SERP analysis and SEO metrics. Um, and it's a good keyword planner alternative. So let's go in. Um, to the back and see exactly what it is. So, really, once you have an account, and you know, I uh, I bought the basic plan on a yearly plan. Um, it gives me uh, I think a hundred uh, keyword look up lookups per day, um, and SERP uh, lookups per day. Um, it does let me check twenty of my competitors per day, um, and a, a ton of um, you know uh, backlink back backlink uh, tracks. So really what, what it is, is you, know, you don't need to get anything more than the basic plan in my opinion. Um, you can upgrade beyond that and have even more capabilities, but most people aren't gonna actually require this. Um, now again, I got the yearly purchase plan. So um, you know when we look at their pricing, um, I got the, uh, let's just show the, uh, yeah, showing the annual, uh, where I spent on the basic plan, it was $229 for the year. Um, again, it gives me 100 
I'll let you do the reading here, but 100 keyword lookups, uh, 200 keyword suggestions, uh, 25 competitor uh, searches and the like. Um, I don't think most of you will require the agency plan or even the premium plan, but you know there are options where if you do a ton of research on a daily basis, um, there are a lot of um, a lot of opportunities and unlimited keyword opportunities and competitor opportunities. Um, I just don't think you necessarily need them. They also do offer um, monthly plans. To me, it was worthwhile to save 40% and go with an annual plan. Um, however, your bank account is your bank account, and so I don't ever want to speak and recommend based on that. I do think $49 a month is a little bit more expensive. So to me, I was able to invest in the um, the the special offer of uh, saving 40% and uh I'm sorry, saving $229, I misspoke, and spending $358. Um, so it, it works out to being about 30 bucks a month. To me, it was absolutely worthwhile. And um, with that, again, uh, you know, the, it gave me the keyword finder, the SERP checker, the SERP watcher, um, so pro site profile, all those things. But quite frankly, all I ever really use is the, um, the keyword tool and the domain checker. So let's start by doing something as simple as uh, a local C you know, keyword search. So um, what, what we can do, um, again, is you can search anywhere. You can search in any language. Um, I am in the United States, but if I wanted to really be specific and type in Philadelphia, um, for example, um, I can do that and again, I can just make it very specifically English and let's just say I wanted a local SEO agency, you know, and really that's what I am. Um, that's what I do. So looking for keywords, what it will do is it will give me a results page like this. So working left to right and then down and bottom, you know, what we're going to start with is the actual search by keyword that I did. Um, it will give me the opportunity to look at related keywords. Um, it'll allow me to do autocomplete and then what are common questions. So let's just start on the left hand side here. The actual search that I did, local SEO agency, um, it shows me kind of a trend quickly on all these keywords, but specifically it kind of gives me an idea on the trend. But what I like to do is come over here for a very specific trend by year um, and month. And it, it shows me there was a, a, you know, a lot of search volume in this particular uh, area. But overall, what I can see is that it is an upward trend. And this shows me monthly searches. Um, and you can click on the trend here. Um, generally speaking, what we're looking for, looking at is about 40 searches per month. Um, they don't have a CPC, which is a cost per click, um, average cost per click in Google Ads. I'm not sure why um, they usually will have that. It could be because I went down to Philadelphia. Um, Level of competition, uh, 19 here. What they're showing is, is that pretty low numbers and then they give me a keyword SEO difficulty. Um, and again, really what this is is calculated from the link profile that I have um, and, and other uh, URLs ranked in the first page. It's giving me an overall keyword difficulty of 52. Obviously, the lower the better. And if I want to say, uh, you know, do one of these searches for a specific keyword um, that isn't already showing, all I have to do is click on this magnifying glass. So, one of the cool things I do think is is there um, is if I like, uh, you know, best local SEO co company, I can either copy the keyword or search related keywords based on that. So quickly, I can just rather than having to type it in, I can just click on that little arrow and it'll take me to that. I can sort by total searches. Um, again, I'm going to get out of. Uh, I'm going to see if this changes the results because I do want to see if there's a CPC associated. There, there is here, um, so I can get a good feel for for uh, exactly what the cost per click is going to be if I do it on a on a on Google Ads. Um, and we can all, always you know sort by keyword difficulty again. Um, you know, best locksmith SEO for example um, isn't really relevant, but top local SEO firm would be more relevant. So I can see how that is uh, you know is, is going to be, um, and, and then you know see exactly where things rank. Um, again, over here it gives me an overall uh, keyword difficulty. It shows me what's ranking, and uh, very specifically by domain authority, page authority, um, citation flow, traffic, or I'm sorry, trust flow, number of links, um, number of Facebook shares. Uh, what this also offers is a link profile strength. Um, and then an estimated visits per month based on that keyword. So, you know, um, based on best local SEO company, um, Neil Patel's website gets under 10 per month. 
Um, you can analyze specifically the, the search results um, in, in more detail um, and track based on that. Um, I don't usually use that. But what I will do is kind of look at some of the you know competitive firms that are that are actually ranking for a keyword. So you know, best local SEO company again. I see Neil. I see Neil, UpCity, GoodFirms.com. I I might say, all right, well you know what what's what's really out there that I think is a, is a competitor. Let's go with HigherVisibility.com. So if I want to search by a, a competitor again, Higher Visibility and say, all right, let's again look at, uh, you know, United States. Um, you know, what are they ranking for? Um, and so searching by domains, what I'll find is the actual keywords that higher visibility is ranking for. Um, so I can search by their overall positioning, um, you know, optimizing Amazon listings, Google search partner, Google, uh, you know, Google Ads versus AdWords. You know, these are keywords that that they rank for that I might want to think are relevant to my particular, uh, you know, my business. Uh, I can do it by position. I can do it by total search um, search volume. I can do it by um, their estimated visits per month. So they're apparently doing really well with Reddit, um, Build Zoom, optimizing Amazon listings. Um, all good stuff. So again, you know, depending on what you're looking to do, um, I tend to do a lot of work with Dennis and Orthodontist. So um, oops, let's do it by keyword. You know, we'll, we'll go in and uh, you know see that there's about 90 searches per per month um, throughout the U.S. for um, local SEO for Dennis. Um, I can see that there are actual competitors that I absolutely know that I see on a daily basis, like WebFX, uh, you know, uh, Titan Web Agency, Dentistry IQ. I see all these names out there. So again, if I want to just go and say, all right, let's look at Titan Web Agency and look for some ideas on what keywords they're ranking for that I might be um, interested in ranking for. So like dentist SEO, marketing for dentist, SEO for dental, um, marketing strategies for hospitals, dental software, um, you know, dental software programs, dental website SEO, uh, you know, uh, by dental practices, dentist marketing. These are all keywords that are pretty relevant to my business um, when I'm targeting um, local dental practices for SEO or dental marketing in, in, in general. Again, I can kind of see where they're ranking and, and, and pulling from, you know, a dental referral program. A lot of dentists are looking for de dental referral programs, so I can create some content based on that. Um, a lot of dentists are either looking to buy or sell, sell their dental practice. So these are very relevant keywords that they're ranking for currently. Um, I can look at it by, by uh, you know, search volumes or approximate search volumes and search um, there. I can see what kind of traffic they're bringing in. Again, cost per click and most importantly, the, the KD, the, you know, the, the keyword SEO difficulty. You know, for me, quickly looking at this, I can see kind of, you know, hey, um, again, these are, these are kind of older, so um, not necessarily they're, they're doing a search now, saying it's still easy a 20% um, or 20 out of 100. So this would be a keyword that if I was looking to build um, you know, my particular website's um, overall SEO score, what I would do is maybe do a blog piece about buying dental practices and maybe tying in um, you know, keywords like buying a dental practice, buying dental practice, um, you know, marketing strategies for hospitals. Um, I would probably tie it in for selling a dental practice as well. Um, and I would, I would simply use another keyword um, tool uh, that I use a lot, which is going to be, or not keyword tool, but um, Article Forge for creating content and simply quickly build a lot of content for that keyword. So again, this is kind of an overall, um, you know, uh, recommendation that I think it's a fantastic tool. Are there other keyword tools out there? Yes. Have I bought others, wasted money on others? Yes. Uh, am I absolutely satisfied and will I let this renew after, after the year commences? 100%. I, I found that these um, these keyword difficulty rankings are pretty on point. Um, the CPCs are a little bit crazy at times. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I've ever had to worry about spending eighty dollars to uh, to get on Google to to use that particular keyword. 
But I do know that um, these competitive rankings are pretty good as far as, you know, level of competition on those keywords, but more importantly on the SEO side. Um, there does tend to be a lot of times more competition for PPC than there is for, um, for keyword SEO difficulty for these dental related uh, keywords. So I would say that, you know, these types of things are rel pretty relevant um, when it comes to, uh, you know, again, what, you know, local SEO for, for dentists. Um, they, they do seem pretty, uh, you know, pretty relevant. It is easy for me to, lo to, to get ranked for local SEO for orthodontists. So this is my review. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've gotten some value. If you have, please like, please comment, let me know how I'm doing. And of course, subscribe if you think it's, it's relevant um, to, uh, to your practice or your business and you, uh, you would like to see more videos that uh, target, um, you know, things that help you uh, make more money. Hope you have a great day.